Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation from Math Olympiad. 3 to the x plus x equal to 30. And we need to find our x. If you have your answer or your solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. And right now I'm going to solve it. First of all, let's subtract x from both sides. As a result, we will have 3 to the x on the left side equal to 30 minus x. Okay, this is our first step. We just write this x. We just bring this from our left side to right to right side with the negative sign. Okay, right now let's just change position. So let's write this 30 minus x on the left side and this one on the right side. It changes nothing for us. So as a result, we have 30 minus x on the left side equal to 3 to the power x. So we change nothing. We just change change position. Right now, let's divide both sides by 3 to the power x. This is our first step. We're going to divide both sides by 3 to the power x. So let's do this right now. We will have 30 minus x on the left side. We're going to divide it by 3 to the power x. Okay, 3 to the power x. And we're going to divide our right side, 3 to the x. We're going to divide it by 3 to the power x. Right now we can easily say that we can cancel this 3 to the x on our right side. So we, we can easily say that this is our 1 and on the, so this is our 1 and on the left side I'm going to bring this 3 to the x from our denominator to our numerator. But we need to know that uh, really interesting property and we have 1 over a to the power m we can write it as a to the power minus minus m. All right. So first of all let's bring this 3 to the x to our, to our numerator. As a result we have 30 minus x times 3 to the power minus x equal to equal to 1. So after first step we have this this expression. What are we going to do next? Right now we need to remember we need to learn about Lambert W function. Okay? But first of all, let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power 30. Don't ask me why, but in a few seconds you will understand. When we multiply by 3 to the power 30, 3 to the power 30. So let's do this right now. Let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power 30. As a result, what do we have? Uh, we have uh, 30 minus x in the beginning. Yes, yeah, 30 minus x times 3 to the power minus x. And as I told before, we're going to multiply it by 3 to the power 30, both sides. 3 to the power 30 equal to 1 times 3 to the power 30. So I just multiplied both sides by 3 by 3 to the power by 3 to the power 30. And right now I hope you understand it. I'm going to apply Lambert W function right here. But before applying this, we can easily see right here the same base and different powers. But when we have the same base and multiplication sign, we can easily add our our powers. So as a result we can write it as 30 minus x. Right here we can write it as 3 to the power 30, 30 minus x. 30 minus 30 minus x and equal to 3 to the power to the power 30. So I really hope you understand it. And right now we need to know, we need to remember about Lambert W function. So I go to this function step by step. I move forward to this function step by step. And right now for those who don't understand this function, when we have a times e to the power a, when we have this type of expression, when we apply a Lambert W function of this expression, as a result we have only our a. So for example we have 3 times e to the power 3 when we apply Lambert W function, as a result we have only only three but we need to take we need to have the same elements as right here we need to have e and we need to have the same expressions we have the same expression yeah we have 30 minus x we have 30 minus x but we don't have e right here okay so first of all we need to we need to create e how can we do this very simple we can write it as e to the power natural log 3 we can easily write it instead of this 3. So e to the power natural log 3, we can easily change, we can easily write instead of this 3. As a result, what do we have? We have 30 minus x, 30 minus x times, instead of 3, we're going to write e to the power natural log 3, e to the power natural log 3, and raised to the power 30 minus x equal to 3 to the power 30. So instead of this 3, I just plug in this e to the power natural log 3. Right now, we need to know a really important property. We just need to multiply these powers. When we want to raise these to the power 30 minus x, we need to multiply natural log 3 and 30 minus x. So as a result, we have 30 minus x times e to the power 30 minus x, 30 minus x times natural log 3. Well, let's write it in the beginning, another matter, like let's write on the second position, 30 minus x times natural log 3 
equal to 3 to the power 30. And right now, if you look closely, okay, we have lambda w function a times e to the power a. We have e, really great. We have looks like a and looks like a, but this nature log 3 is, is also really bad for us because we don't have the same thing. We have 30 minus x and we have 30 minus x times nature log 3 as a power. So our last step is to multiply both sides by nature log 3. And when we multiply it, I'm going to write it on the second position, okay? So we have 30 minus x times natural log 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times natural log 3 equal to 30 minus uh, 30, 3 to the power 30 times natural log 3. So we just multiplied both sides by this natural log 3. But let's look closely what we had on the left side. On the left side, we have 30 minus x times natural log 3. For example, let's call this as a. And we have the same 30 minus x times natural log 3. Let's call this also as a because the same thing. And we have a times e to the power a expression that we really need to apply Lambert W function. So right now, let's do this. Let's apply Lambert W function on the, on the left side, on our left side. So we have Lambert W function let's use these brackets we have 30 minus x times nature log 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times nature log 3 yeah and we close brackets equal to 3 to the power 30 times nature log 3 and right now as i told before we have a we have a we have e to the power a, we have a times e to the power a, and as a result, according to Lambert W function, this is equal to a. So on the left side, we have only 30 minus x, 30 minus x, times natural log 3, times natural log 3, of course, with parentheses. So on the left side, we have this, this expression. On the right side, we have 3 to the power 30 times natural log 3. Okay, 3 to the power 30 times natural log, natural log 3. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's uh, simplify a little bit our expression on the right side. So I will write the same thing on the left side. So we have 30 minus x times natural log 3, all right? And on the right side, we do absolutely great things. First of all, instead of this 3 to the power 30, I want to write the next, I'm going to write the next thing. But don't forget about this Lambert W function, right? We need to apply it on both sides, on the left side and on the right side. Don't forget about it. I missed the thing, but don't forget about it. We still have Lambert W function on the on the right side, okay? Because we apply it on the left side and on the right side as well. Don't forget about it. Okay, and right now we have Lambert W function of 3 to the power 30. Let's write as 3 cube. On the second position, let's write natural log 3. And times we still have 3 to the power 27. So as you can see, I just, instead of this 3 to the power 30, I just write 3 to the 3 and 3 to the power 27. And right now I change position. We can easily do this because this is like multiplication. Yeah, we can easily do this do this step. What are we going to do next? Right now, instead of this 3 to the power 27, I want to write the next expression. I'm going to write e to the power natural log 3 raised to the power 27. All right? So instead of this 3 to the power 27, I'm going to write this thing. So let's write it uh, from the beginning. So 30 minus x times natural log 3 times natural log 3 equal to Lambert W function of 3 to the power 3 equal to 27. All right, so 27. The next thing we have times natural log 3. Natural log 3. And right here we have, instead of this 3 to the power 27, let's write e to the power 27 times natural log 3. This is our expression. When we when we write this, we have e to the power 27 times natural log natural log 3. So instead of this 3 to the power 27, we can write e to the power 27 times natural log 3. So times e to the power 27 times natural log natural log 3. All right, and if you look closely, 27 times natural log 3, we have the same 27 times natural log 3, so we can easily apply Lambert W function. And as a result, in the, from the previous step, this is equal to A. So as a result, we have 30 minus X on the left side times natural log 3 equal to, right here we have the same thing with Lambert W function. When we apply it, this is equal to 27 times natural log 3. And the final thing, the final great thing for us, because we're going to cancel this natural log 3, and from here we have 30 minus x equal to equal to 27 from here obviously x is equal to equal to 3 and this is our our solution uh, to our question but first of all let's let's check it real quick first of all uh, let's do this so for example right here let's check it in the beginning we had 3 to the x plus x equal to equal to 30 let's check it so we have 
3 to the power 3 plus 3 equal to equal to 30. I guess this is a correct thing. 27 plus 3 equal to equal to 30. So everything is absolutely great for us. And let's write our answer to this question. Right now we can see a graph, you can see a plot, you can see this point of intersection, which is also, which is also really great. And a lot of students may be saying, hey, mister, why do you record this video about this, about this solution x is equal to 3? Very obvious, we can easily find it in a few seconds, but what about a solution? In terms of math, we're interested in a solution, we're interested not in like in inspection method. Inspection method, this is up to you, you can easily check this route, you can easily fill this route by inspection method, but what about solution? You, as you can see right here, you need to know a lot of things, a lot of stuff right here, because uh, like a log, a Lambert W function, and as you can see, we have like more than 20 lines, so it's really great to to know this solution. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. You can also write a question down into the comment section, write your notes down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best. See you in the next video.